I'm Jeff Hammond, founder of McDonald News. I want to share with you today a close call of, that I had in traffic that prompted me to develop a product and to launch a sensor company. On a cross-country motorcycle trip, my wife almost rear-ended me. She was following behind in an SUV. Um, what happened was I, I downshifted my motorcycle to slow down. Downshifting is a natural riding style, and it's what most motorcyclists do to slow down instead of using the brakes. This is dangerous because the brake light does not come on. I started looking at the problem beyond motorcycles, and I learned that 28% of crashes in the U.S. annually are rear-end collisions. One of the contributing factors is the brake light only comes on when you apply the brakes. We want to remedy that situation. We call them brake lights, but we should be calling them deceleration indicators. They should indicate that your vehicle is slowing down whether you apply the brakes or not. Situations like front end collisions, colliding with road debris, powertrain malfunctions. There's a number of causes that rapidly slow your vehicle, but now the only cause that illuminates the brake lights is you choosing to apply the brakes. We have a solution. Stoptix is, an, is a smart LED automatic brake lamp that lights up every time it's shooting, whenever your vehicle suddenly slows down. We're offering our solution as a retrofit part, which means we've opened up, that opens up the market to most of the one billion vehicles on the roadway globally that still use the single socket brake lamp. The stop this lamp can run for three hours between charges, and it can recharge in only two seconds when you apply the brakes. The automatic brake light has been attempted for a couple of decades. It was never adopted because consumers were just not uh, interested in modifying their vehicle wiring and um, just not that interested in taking the time required for an installation. So what we've done is we've offered the solution as a retrofit part. What we're going to go after is the U.S. market first, targeting motorcycles. Then. As soon as it's feasible, we will expand into all of automotive market and international markets. But ultimately, we're looking at one billion vehicles globally. Of course, we can't take on the world, and we're not trying to coming out of the gate as a new startup. But that's the stair step approach that we're going to do. Motorcycles, we already have a market pool there, and they're getting into automotive and international. We already have press, which is another indicator that we're striking a chord with the motorcyclists, the automotive uh, aftermarket, and the consumers. There's a lot of interest in uh, sensor-based uh, technologies that increase safety. Uh, here are some of the places that have already picked us up. You know, dual sport motorcycle magazine, uh, through automotive aftermarket business world, and even Gizmag last year, just this past week. We've raised $80,000 in seed funding, and that's enough to get us to a pilot production run of 1,000 lamps, pay for our product liability insurance premium, uh, get us to a few trade events, and hopefully that generates the traction to, cause, to, to uh, bring on more orders. We have five distributors and Amazon interested in carrying the product already. Again, we're not in production, so that is significant in the automotive space. Usually, uh, the media and the buyers at the distributors don't talk to you in, until you are ready to supply. You're not a supplier until you're ready to supply. So we're already getting press. We already have interest from the distributors. Again, we're striking a chord with the industry. We also have interested distributors in uh, Europe and Australia. We're not quite ready to do international business, but we are having those conversations on how we will do business with them. 
We set the retail price at $79.95, and we based that on surveying the industry, including distributors and dealerships, and also surveying the customers. What are they willing to pay, and what are they already paying for LED lighting products? PowerSource distributors urged us to also provide our solution, our automatic brake light solution for personal watercraft, uh, riding jackets, helmets, snowmobiles. We even have some interest in the vintage racing community for a race version of the plan. Uh, for those novice racers who, who only race a few times a year, they have a lot invested in the vehicle. Uh, and even some vintage, uh, older uh, vehicles, especially the motorcycles, that have weak electrical systems. We will expand our product family based on the market assessment for each of these and our ability to fund the product development through sales revenue or investment or a combination of both. We're also offering the cycle brake light, our bicycle version, because of consumer demand. Basically, we got out in the space and we had a lot of interest and a lot of inquiries. Why aren't you doing a bicycle version of this? Huntsville cyclists have helped us to define the form, fit, and function of that product, and we hope to launch a Kickstarter campaign for that very soon. You can easily find our products at autobreaklight.com and cyclebreaklight.com. You don't have to remember my name, the company name, just what is the solution that we're providing? It's not on that brake light. Motorcycle and bicycle industries are $6 billion annually each in the U.S. Both markets are becoming increasingly more focused on using sensors and LED lighting to increase visibility and safety. The timing for our products is right because the enabling technologies are finally here and the market is ready. The automotive market is adopting collision avoidance technologies, but all that focus is on new vehicles. McOptics wants to provide safety products for the vehicle you already drive or ride. There's a huge opportunity in the retrofit market for offering these products and these collision avoidance technologies. Stopix is the first product along those lines. I have 20 years of experience and I'm also a power sports and automotive enthusiast. JJ Hanfield has 45 years of experience in power sports. AJ has already taken a small company in Huntsville area to tier one status with automotive OEMs. My mentor turned team member is a key, key element to this. He has 20 years with contract manufacturers and 40 years with product development. 